What's up Video 4 Nation, I'm Magic Bard and for today I'm going to get into a quick little simple effect and I say that because um, you've probably already heard of the warp stabilizer, you probably even used it. I'm going to show you a little section inside of it to really spice up your video. So the great thing about this tutorial is I'm going to show you if you don't have a tripod and you need to get that tripod looking shot, this tutorial will be great for you. In a lot of our past tutorials, um, in terms of movie magic tricks, I tell you to use a tripod. This is a great way to create that effect, simulate the tripod effect without actually shooting with a tripod. So, you know, if you're ever holding a camera and you, you're trying to keep it stable because you want it to look like you're on some sticks, this is great for that. Also, if you have a drone and you're shooting straight down and you want to make it look like um, a tripod is holding your drone in place, this is perfect for that. You may have seen that on a few Instagram accounts. Um, a big one is Casey McPerry's Instagram account. He has some really cool shots that he does with his DJI Mavic, I think it is. Um, where you shoot straight down, it's everything is completely still, and it looks like it's on a tripod. So it's kind of surreal, um, but it looks pretty awesome because not a lot of people know how to do it. So now you guys will. So with that being said, if you're new to Video Forward, hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon right next to it. So that way you'll be notified every time we put out a new tutorial every single week. Now let's jump on. Let's. Let's jump in to the tutorial. Hi guys, so this is what we're gonna be creating. Watch how this looks like it's absolutely still. Nothing is really moving except for our actors or people inside of the clip. So basically all you have to do is shoot your camera or no, no, what am I saying? Fly your drone up into the air to a point where you wanna see the structures, trees or what have you in the shot and then just keep it there. Most drones nowadays, the Mavic, the DJI drones, um, Phantom and those, once you set it in the, into a position, it'll just fly there. Now, depending on the winds, if the winds are extremely strong, it's probably gonna push it over to left and right. Um, but usually the drone is pretty good at staying in one position as long as you're not fidgeting with the controls. With that being said, let me open up the original drone footage to show you what we have. So while the drone was in the air, of course it's not going to be absolutely still. So as you can see, it is kind of veering off to the left and right, trying to stay in one position. And this is all based off of the GPS coordinates that it is um, connected to. But there's still that movement. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of this little bit of movement. Um, and you can kind of see that on the edges of the clip as I scrub left and right that movement. So this applies to any type of shot that you guys get where you guys are pro probably a handheld shot but you want it to be absolutely still as if the camera's on a tripod. Um, this applies to that as well. So what you're going to do is select your in and out points and this is your in point this is your out point, so your keyboard shortcuts are commit or I and O. Um, so create those, and then once you have your in and out points, we're going to create a timeline with that. So you can just click and drag, take your clip, and bring it into a new sequence by dragging it right here, and boom, you'll have that right there. So I'm going to size this one up over here, and here's our clip right now. So then what you're going to do is add the warp stabilizer effect. So open up your effects window and go to warp stabilizer and drag that onto your clip. And you're going to see that it's going to start analyzing the background. Go to your effects controls. We can toggle this down. Um, and right in your warp stabilizer, go to the result, click on smooth motion, and then select no motion. Now, no motion is usually when you're using the warp stabilizer, you're always on smooth motion. But you want to use no motion when you want to simulate the tripod effect. 
Okay, so I talked a little bit about this in the tutorial on the dolly zoom. So whenever you're trying to simulate a dolly zoom and you don't have a zoom on your camera, um, this is also good to apply to that. Now, um, you'll see that the clip will start to analyze. It'll start to stabilize and do all of that good stuff. Um, depending on the way that you shoot this, you may need to do a detailed analysis. So just click this box. My clip is pretty well done, so I won't need that. This will just take up some additional time in terms of analyzing the clip. So I won't select this now, but you may need to check that out. And other than that, all of this stuff is good. We want this on this um, subspace warp and stabilize crop auto scale that really basically does this whole effect for us and guys we're good to go so that's kind of what you want to do here I'm gonna fast forward so we can get through this analyzing process okay guys so this is what it's gonna look like once it is all finished analyzing you're going to have a really nice and stabilized clip now you see as I scroll through back and forth um, the the movement isn't happening anymore because we've got that tripod simulated effect and it looks pretty surreal because very rarely do you see a shot in the air like this so still so everything looks like it's just absolutely still and then you have people walking around if you want to do something really awesome try this shot this exact shot with a drone do it at the beach and watching the waves looks really cool um, so guys that's basically it that's how you do the that's how you simulate a tripod effect without having a tripod by using the warp stabilizer alright guys so I hope that tutorial helped you out if it did leave us a like and let us know in the comment section what visual effects you guys would like to know more about or little movie magic tricks or any type of um, effects inside of After Effects or Premiere Pro that may help you that you want to know more about let us know in the comment section I'm I'm Magic Bard. This is Video Fort. Now see you guys on the next one.